Hi, this is Tiffany Lewis with Mando TV. Breckenridge Grand Vacations is the owner and operator of three Breckenridge, Colorado resorts, Gold Point Condominiums, the Grand Timber Lodge, and the Grand Lodge on Peak 7. Kit Armour is general manager and she has been trying to find out what's on the minds of Breckenridge Grand Vacations employees, timeshare owners, and guests. So she grabbed her video camera, hit record, and simply asked some questions. Kit has allowed us to show you some of the video footage, so we will present it here in several segments. In this segment, we hear more from timeshare owners at Breckenridge Grand Vacations. So tell me, what do you like about timesharing? Well, uh, the timeshare experience that I've had, I've been probably a timeshare owner, I'm thinking 13 to 14 years, and the reason why I really have enjoyed it, the big advantage is you've got to pre-plan. If you pre-plan, you can get very nice resorts and stay in premium places that me as a working class individual, I would never stay at because I could never afford them. And it makes you take vacations and you get to experience places that I didn't even really know existed. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a beautiful way to actually make yourself have vacations because life is so short, you end up working, working, and then Five years later, you think, well, I haven't even had a good vacation. Yeah, great. And why do you continue to keep owning or consider purchasing more timeshare? Because one of my favorite hobbies is traveling. All right. I love going to meet new people. And just being able to meet new guests from all over the world and talking to them, it, it, never mind enjoying all the other resources that the units put in and then just being able to go to different parts of the country and in an affordable way. Okay. I mean, you're, you're still paying. I look on it as when you pre-plan, you're paying for a Motel 6 and you're staying at a Hilton or a Hyatt or a high-end motel. Okay, great. And if there was something you could change about timesharing, what would that be? The big thing I would do, I do not, I feel like they have a bad rap because they're, they're always trying to nickel-dime people. And when they start going into this point system, I do not like the point system. I do agree with, I, I do like your point system where it's internal, mm -hmm. but I like having the deeded property and all the units I own are deeded property, and I do take them to interval and I can go from week to week. And with your plan here, I do like that because it gives you the flexibility of the unit you're buying, and that is a big advantage to the point system. But okay. to me, it's overall, any type of point system I looked at, they're just trying to get more money out of somebody's pocket. And I, I detest that. Okay. And talk to me a little bit about resort amenities. What type of amenities within the whole resort are important to you? A huge one for me probably is a pool, a lap pool. Mm -hmm. And I like to have adult hours. I, mean, I like kids just like I like elephants. They have a place. I'll go visit them at the zoo. I don't like to have kids screaming in the crowd. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm older now. And my kids there have their place. That's why it's, it's nice when you have the amenities where you can have an yeah. adult okay. in a family pool. Or you can have restricted hours. Right. Pool and a, a nice, healthy workout area. Okay. Is, you know, so be all and how about with... I would say, uh, what I was saying is another one is uh, they have online service. Is a mm -hmm. thing for me. Okay. And how about within the unit? Any... The units, I, I do like having a full kitchen because mm -hmm. that's what else makes it so affordable because you can cook in and you're in a, a very enjoyable environment. It, it, it doesn't seem like work when you're cooking in. Right. And how about, um, how important is it to you that a resort is green or environmentally conscious? I'd say on a 1 to 10 scale, I'd put 10 as the top and it is 10. To, okay. To me, I think we all should be looking at that and not. Uh, you know, if we all start looking, doing our little little bit in the world, I think we'll have a lot better world to pass on to our kids. And I, that, that is really high on my Okay, list. great. And how about um, what type of technologies do you like to see available for you? Well, I'm not real technical savvy, but I do use the Internet on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So I, I do like, and that goes back to the nickel and dime, and a lot of them charge you to use the Internet service. We're here, they allow you to have it free. And then to be able to print your boarding pass and have it convenient hours where they have it open 24 hours. Mm -hmm. The one thing going back to amenities, 
pool re hours restrictions. One of the things I didn't like here is uh, opening up at night. Because coming in from the Midwest, my time clock is I, I basically get up at 4 30 in the morning. Right. And I'd love to be able to do laps. But I understand they have a maintenance routine they have to follow. And it's cold. I'd probably be the only one doing it. <laughs> it was only 29 degrees this morning. That's warm, right? Yeah, I'm from Chicago. Right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's summer. Yeah. <laughs> And then what about any new technologies that you think are important and should be put into the resorts these days? Uh, I, I would imagine, I'm just guessing because uh, with, with kids being into all the different game factors and Xboxes, that would probably be something mm -hmm. to envision. But asking me or asking the wrong person because I'm not that technically savvy what's coming on and what's popular. Right. All right. We want to thank Kit Armour again for providing this video. In a future segment, we'll ask Kit what she learned from this experience.